So now our single.php file is displaying individual blog posts in a way that's starting to look more like a real blog. Okay, but we're still missing a few essential features. One thing we're going to learn about right now is a cool feature that WordPress has built in um, that allows us to navigate between our different blog posts really easily. So let's add that code in and we're going to add it in inside of these eight columns here. Okay, not in the sidebar area, but in kind of the main section of our individual blog post. We'll add it right below the end if there. And we're going to add some PHP. It's going to be a block of PHP. So I'm going to do the opening tag and then the closing tag. And inside of here, we'll just say if, and then in parentheses is singular. And then we'll say post. And then curly braces. And then in here, we'll just say the underscore post navigation and we're going to put an array inside of there we'll break this out into multiple lines and we need our semicolon there and then inside we'll say next text set that equal to next and then previous text or prev text we'll set that equal to previous just like that so we'll save that so what I've done here is I've added this block of PHP code right at the bottom of this eight column div okay and in here we're saying okay if this is an individual blog post if that's what we're looking at if we're not looking at like a series of blog posts but rather we're looking at an individual blog post from inside of uh, this file here this template then let's add some navigation links and we'll just label those links next and previous. So if I save my file now, make sure your server is running and I go over here and refresh there. Now we've got this navigation built in and it knows that there is no next after this. But if I hit previous, I can kind of go to my other blog post and now previous is gone and it only shows next. So it's kind of like a smart navigation has been built in. Now, if I go over to the admin section, it seems we only have two blog posts in here. Let's add a third one. So I'll say add new, and I'll just say third blog post. And then we'll say this is the body of the third blog post. So I'll publish this. And now if we go over here and refresh, you'll see you have both of those links now. We can style these with CSS later. But now we have our first one here. This was default by WordPress. And then if I hit next, now we can go back or forward. And if I hit next again, now we're taken to the last one. So we have this smart nav built in now. So this is one of the things that I wanted to show you that we can build into these single.php files for us to navigate. And just so you know, it's always a good idea to go over to one of the default themes, like 2016, for example, that comes with WordPress. And if you look at their single.php, they'll have this feature in there as well, but it'll be a little bit more dense. They'll add, instead of just hard coding in next, they can you can actually hard code in some HTML. And by doing that, you can kind of control, okay, well, let's give it a class name then. And we'll say class name next link or something like that. And then you can really target it in your CSS. But I'm just going to leave it simple for now. But if you want to see examples of that, all you have to do is just go over to one of the default themes and look at their single.php file. And you'll see, there we go. They've got their post navigation in there. And they've got quite a bit of HTML. So you can see much more powerful usage of creating these navigation links. And then once again, how do I know to do this? Well, I'm just showing you the main things that you'd run across when you're building a WordPress theme. And you can also copy these functions and search them in Google. And you'll see there are explanations for a lot of these functions. They kind of show you examples and show you what all these things can do 
and you can kind of read about them. So I just want to point that out as well. And yes, this documentation is not friendly for beginners necessarily. It, it can be really wordy or very sparse when you want it to be more well explained, but it's still worth Googling until you become more comfortable. It'll feel uncomfortable at first, but it's good to just Google them and read what people say about each of these functions. I know that sounds boring, but it is a good practice and you'll get used to it and learn how to read documentation better if you do that. Okay, so this is what we added here and I'm gonna leave this here now inside of single.php.